Whoa! Good morning, guys. I'm actually busting out this camera that I bought not too long ago. Ugh, putting it back. Oh, what the heck was that? Anyways, good morning. I should probably put something on my lips. But I am actually busy uploading some photos off of my old phone into my computer. That's why I'm busting out this camera that I haven't used in forever. But I am currently cleaning up my household. Kids are eating. And hey. I am in the laundry room doing... Uh huh. I'm in doing one of the worst chores ever invented for moms. <sighs> laundry. It's like never ending. I swear. I do laundry so many times a week and I feel like it just never ends. What's up? Today we're going to be doing going to an open house later on and maybe actually the next two, three hours because hubby's at work and we're waiting for him to come home. Look at me looking at the top of the camera when I should be looking at y'all in the lens right here. Can y'all hear me? <laughs> what you looking at, Bree? Thinking your mom's crazy? Oh, and guess where I'm at? I am in the laundry room, guys. But the birds are gone. The only thing is, the bird man removed the bird from behind there, and he did. He did spray some kind of sanitizer. His version of a sanitizer. I don't know what that is. And I just feel, I feel kind of sick because he removed four dead birds. They came in through some mechanism from behind there and I just ever so often when I pass by the laundry room I just want to pull my dryer back and go back and sanitize it with some good old bleach you know bleach is your friend because I don't know what he sprayed back there and if you're a germ germaphobe like myself you would want to go back there and sanitize there too. Hi I'm Megabot and we're the triplets. guys and we're heading to go check out those open houses say hi Aaron hi guys he looks so cute post recovery surgery does a body good <laughs> I'm joking. oh my god <laughs> can't wait to try to work out again oh gosh yes babes we all know yada yada boom boom <laughs> keep your eye on the road because I don't want to run off anyways yeah we're going we're heading to go check out these houses. Like I was saying before, I don't know if I can take you in because we have a realtor, right? So I don't want to be like all filming. But, side note, when I took the kids for a walk, right? Yeah. This guy's going so fast right now. Oh my gosh. When I took the kids for a walk, this woman, yep. we saw this woman and she was sitting. All that noise, so extra. This woman was sitting on the bench with a hat on and she's like watching us. She, she saw us coming from afar, she kept staring at us, but I couldn't determine if she was just staring at us because the kids were all wearing match, they were all matchy-matchy with the purple socks and the pants, yeah, right? Yeah. Which, so I'm thinking, okay, perhaps it's just that, but then we turned and she kept staring and staring and then, you know, we're like heading in the direction that she's just in the perfect view to just stare at us. Yeah. So I turned back just to let her know that we see you. Stop staring now, <laughs> I've had enough. So we go, yes. So then we go up the street, like not up the street, up the path, walked up towards like, you know, the area at the yeah. top, made our turn and we're on our way back. Guess who we see? The woman. Then these people were coming behind her, so she stopped. She found the perfect opportunity to stop. Then she opens, she flips her phone, goes into it, and then she crosses her arms and has the phone flipping up this way as if she's going to record us. You know, like, do you know if someone is being slick? When they're being slick and trying to record someone? I guess so, yeah. Yeah. That's what she wanted to do. It's like that's what she wanted to do. So she, the people were so far behind her, it was so unnecessary for her to pull over. It was just an excuse. And then they're moving and she goes in her phone, she presses it, and then she turns her phone sideways like this with the camera facing us. So I passed by and then I was like, did she just try to record us? I was like, 
didn't know. No, she did it. And I and then I turned around and I looked back at her and I was like, "Did you just try to record us?" And then she's like, "You talking to me?" And I was like, "Wait." Anyways, and I just kept walking. But I was so annoyed because I'm like, "Is that what she was doing?" That's another reason. I don't know. People are so damn creepy. So people are pretty strange. I didn't like right. that. No. I mean, yeah, we record ourselves and we put it out there, but it, you know. Yeah, but you choose what to put it. Yeah, but I don't know who the heck she is and why she would even want to record us. And I asked her, and she's like, "You talking to me?" It's like, uh, "Yeah, who else am I talking to?" I'm not talking to the old people passing by. I'm talking to you because you've done been staring at us the whole time. And I saw you. It's like I seen you, woman. I like, I, you know, I. You know, whenever I see people doing those crazy things, I always. You know me, I always give them the second look, or I make them know, like I make them aware that I see you. And you think if you weren't up to anything, it would tell you to just stop. Stop staring now, I've, I've seen you. Yeah. Hmm. I know. Don't bother you, huh? They don't stare at you, because you're just white. They see you all the time. Two people are here. But, oh, speaking of which, let me see. I'm going to show you. Let's see Aaron's reaction to this picture because I took a picture on my phone for you to see. Hopefully, I can get it to you before this light changes. Don't change yet. Don't change. Ah, it changed. <laughs> but it's a picture of someone um, sunbathing or sun someone who who uh, tanned. Yep and the result of it and they actually live like in uh kw region and i took a picture of it so you could see it wow oh. Oh. Ouch. i don't want to show it to you guys because it's off my facebook and it would be kind of rude to show that but it's sick it's really really sick it's of a caucasian person who went sun uh, sun bathing, sun tanning, and they suffered, they ended up getting a type of cancer. Now, they didn't get full blown melanoma. What do you call it? Melanoma? Melanoma. Melanoma. They didn't get full. Is it how you pronounce it? Like, I know we have melanoma. Melanoma. I can't even. Melanoma. Melanoma. Is that? We just stupid right now. We need to go to bed on time. <laughs> what? I just said it. It's melanoma. Melanoma. But that's not the cancer she suffered from. She ended up getting a different kind of cancer, which makes you get warts all over your face. So that's what that th those are. Those are like all the results from warts being burnt off. Is your skin gonna grow back? I don't know. I think so. It is, right? Maybe not the same. She might very well have scars, right? Oh, I'll be going around the corner. <laughs> but you know what? It's definitely going to be a lot lighter than it was before. What do you mean? You. <laughs> what, are you <laughs> what are you talking about? Scar tissue heals lighter. Oh yes, it so does. It's going to be. So this is going to be worse. But she was trying to get darker. Now she's going to become even lighter. This guy, yo. Thank God you Sarah, know I better. Sorry, I can't see my mirror. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's crazy. She, you guys, you were holding it exactly up where. All the, you gotta say is, I can't see my mirror, okay. and I'll move the camera. He did exactly, <laughs> and we all safe, and we enter in the highway, and life moves on. Oh, give me a heart attack. Say that he didn't look he at it. He is so extra. Good thing once I'm on the highway, that. I never get into. The, I, I never go right. I'm always in the left. Extra, way. extra. Read all about it. Oh, we're going. <laughs> you see him? I gotta send this video to the police. <laughs> I'm not speeding. I'm not speeding. Dude, if ramps tell you you gotta you have to be going like 40 off the ramps or 60? No, no, it's or 60? 90. You're not going 90 off the, off the ramp? Yes. Did not say that. Yeah, you have to approach. Bet you 50 bucks. Maybe not 50. Maybe not 50. Bet you. you Actually, yeah, because I'm gonna win. You're gonna have to go 80, 90. Does not say that. No ramp tells you that. No, 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 not no ramp, but um, once you're the ramp on, the on ramp, you have to be he going. He thinks he knows about driving, but he doesn't. Okay, Ask him, who on. taught him how to drive? Who taught you how to drive? The car. Oh, Aaron, 
You fathead. Tell, tell them the truth. Me. You did. Me. And my daddy. You didn't even have to go to driver's ed. I went to, how many, guys, did you, listen to this. I went to driver's ed and my drive instructor had one arm. That's pretty cool. True story. It's a true story. She, she taught me how to drive with one arm. And she was so mean, like, what you looking at? I wasn't even. But you should have met her. You were I was anymore? like focusing on this. The whole time? Guys, if you don't see any footage I, after this, you I don't know even, why. You know what? You know sometimes when you're driving and you're not even... You're just... It's like... It's like... It's like subconsciously driving. Yeah. You're subconsciously driving. Yeah, yeah. If someone asked me what was how I got into this lane, I don't remember. You don't remember? Well, it was like yesterday when I was driving and I kept... My eyes kept dazing out. You know when they try to... They tell you don't get dazed out? Yeah. yeah, my eyes kept dazing out and I'm like, what the heck? And I kept, <laughs> I kept trying so hard not to that I'm like, I started, I started to get worried. I was like, what if I get dazed out completely and I don't know what I'm doing? Well, you're, you're Just a driving? thought. Yeah, when I was driving. Where was that? When I was driving to go oh, to, Costco, to the so. bank and to Costco and, you know, oh. all the other errands that I had to run. Why my dress looks so fuzzy? Could you? Your, pet, your dress looks nice. I never asked the man. I got charged twelve dollars for a hospital. Yes, that's another interesting fact of the day. While he was in, while he was in the jail cell, no, while he was in the hospital, you know, living in Canada, thank God we have health care. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They covered all the bills. But Aaron got a bill today. He did. How much was it? It was $12. <laughs> $12. Tell them what it was for, Aaron. It was to call my wife to pick me up. It was for a 30 second phone call. Now, seriously, like, who does that? <laughs> I don't know. Who does that? <laughs> the hospital billed us. It, it shows on the bill like you were in there. It was almost three hundred dollars that you were covered by um, OHIP. by OHIP, right? But then he got billed twelve dollars for a thirty-second phone call. Yeah, which I'm surprised they even recorded because I had already been discharged. Yeah, yeah. I don't see how that even applies to me. They discharged me. So I signed documentation that I was discharged, and then I simply said to them. I need to, can I can I use your phone? Yeah. And they said sure. You can use the one at the desk. Ah. I'm gonna call that hospital. <laughs> and what do you think they're gonna, and say? gonna say to them? What is this charge for using the phone? I think I did. I'm gonna ask them. I would love to see how this goes because Aaron and I are two different people when it comes to calling these people. I will call them and I'll be nice, but then I'll rough them up and prove my case. My husband, my husband on the other hand, will let them <laughs> mash them down. Well, <laughs> oh, excuse me, Miss. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> How can you even tell me that I used that phone? You have me on camera? I don't know. Like I'm wondering, who told them that I used the phone? The nurse? After? That's interesting, yeah. After but you the know time. these hospitals, they, they will all, they always win. They always win. Well. They always, remember when, when, when mom had to go to the hospital for whatever the reason was the other day? Yes. She got, well, the ambulance, I guess we all know the ambulance have a fee. But they rack you up, like, it was like $75. Yeah, yeah, unless it's like, you can't, there's no way to, like, you have to go right into ER in order for them to, not charge you. Oh, is that why? Oh, because that's yeah. like stated like a complete emergency. Like it's a, yeah, it's a justified emergency oh. and then they don't charge you. Well then. But I think you only find out like when you get there. Yeah. Right? Whoa. Well, I guess so. You don't have any other way. Yeah, you don't have any oh, other no. way of getting there. Guys, uh, I'm gonna cut this for a little bit. Say bye. Bye guys.
guys. Oh, wish us luck. Yeah, keep your fingers crossed for us. Not, not for, for what? <laughs> oh, in hopes that we find what we're looking for. Yeah. We've got exactly 18 minutes to get to our destination. Ah, ah, ah. You should call her. We're not gonna get. No.